Hello everybody. Today we're going to do another in the declutter series. Today we're going to do all my liquid lipsticks, my lip glosses, my regular lipsticks because they have to fit in these two drawers and they don't. <laughs> so we're going to have to go through some. Um, I had three times as much. I did a declutter six months ago, but my stash has grown quite a bit since then. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and go through all these. Some of these I'm on the fence about. Some of them I really, really love. So I'm going to go with the really, really loves and are not getting rid of first because I know those aren't going anywhere. All right. So hmm, there's so many. Okay. First, these are ones that I'm absolutely not even a little bit going to get rid of. These are, and they don't sell them anymore. I have to like really hunt for these. These are the L'Oreal. Oh, I don't even know what these are. They don't have anything on them anymore. Oh, bummer. These are lip glosses. They're not lipsticks. Um, and this is what they look like. I'll show you. This is what they look like. This is what the packaging looks like. And you pull them out and then they have this little doe foot applicator. They smell really, really good. Kind of like, I don't know, almost like pineapple, I want to say. But I know that's not it. But I have a bunch of these. I have it in 500. I have it in 103. And you guys, I've had to like really, really hunt for these. I have it in 502, which is a gorgeous, like super, super deep color. This is perfect for fall. Um, and then I have it in 104 and I have it in 201, which is like a super bright pink, which I don't use a lot often. So I have five of those and those are not going anywhere. Those are my absolute favorite. Those are my like all time go to when I am um, really don't know what to wear. Oh, I have another one. I knew I was missing one. And I have uh, 101. That's what that looks like. But I mean, like, I had to hunt for these. Like, that's what that looks like. I just... Oh, yeah. It really does smell really, really good. And it feels really good on. And it gives me, you know, a little color, some shine. Um, so those are my favorite. Those are not going anywhere. The other one that's not going anywhere, and it's just recently become a favorite of mine. This is by... I don't know if it's a Dees or a Dess. And it's a Dess New York Lip Polish Lug Luxury Lip Gloss. It doesn't have a number or anything on it. That's what it looks like. It's just really super pretty and sheer. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Just really pretty. I really, really like it. Especially when I just want a little something but I don't want to mess with like lipsticks or anything. So I think we're going to do lip glosses first. And these two... This I love. This was a buxom sampler. It came with six of these. I don't think I have all of these because I think my daughter's raided my stash. Yeah, she's raided my stash and took the other four. Um, so these are the only two that I have left. And it is the... Oh gosh, if I can read this. Full on lip polish in Alexis. So that's what that looks like. Very, very pretty. Kind of a very nice light pink. Oh no, that's because it's mixed with something. Scratch that. Um, and then this one is my all-time favorite. It's almost gone. As you guys can see, this is Claire. And this is another full-on lip polish. Love these. If you guys have a chance to get the full size of these, I totally would. This is my absolute favorite. And it's almost gone, so I have to go find another one. What am I going to do? Okay. Oh, no, I lied. I have another one. So I have three of. I have three out of the six. This is the Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. This also came in that set. It's in the color Instigator. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Just like that. That's what it looks like. It's a very matte color. Kind of a minty smell to it. I'm not sure if I like that one. So I'm going to put that over here in the maybe pile. Because I don't know how I feel about it. This is another one that we just got. This is by Pretty Vulgar. This is... My lips are sealed. 108 Particularly Sophisticated. 
This is a liquid lipstick. So that's what the packaging looks like. This is super, super pretty too. Like very light, kind of more of a pink. Um, this I do like, so that I'm gonna keep, but that's going in the liquid lipstick drawer. All right. Um, this I got when I went to a special little diva night. This is just a little tiny lip balm. That is just so stinging cute, but it feels really good on the lips. So I'm gonna put that in with the glosses. Oh, what else have I got going on? I've got some Urban Decays. Let me get all of those so we can go through all of them at once and I don't have to hunt for them. I probably should have done that before starting. This is all of them. Yes, it is. Okay. So for Urban Decays, these are the... Uh, I can't even read that. High Color Lip Glosses. And I have quite a few of them. One of these, this is After Dark. This is a beautiful purple. Like, I love that. That's absolutely pretty. Just a very nice deep purple. I have worn this before. Next up to go kind of with that is the Bing, Big Bang. It says glitter in it. Like that. And it looks the same. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Let me see if I can get it in close. Okay, see the little glitter? See that? Yeah, no, this isn't going over either. I may not be getting rid of any. I may have lied. This may not be a declutter, but a collection. This is Brick House. This I love for fall. Like, look at how deep and luxurious that is. This is absolutely gorgeous. That's not going anywhere. I thought I had another one of those. Bet my kid's been in my stash because it's missing. She likes to take all my stuff. This is 69. This is supposed to be a true red. This actually may go because it's not. It's pink. Um, yeah, I'm not super, super crazy about that one. <sighs> I think that one might go. And then to go with that is Assassin, which is the red with glitter. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in that bottom one. Um, I'm going to put those in the baby pile because I don't know about this one. And then this one isn't going anywhere. This is Liar. This is my only nude. That's what that looks like right there. That one's going to stay. I think that's all the glosses. Nope, I lied. I have... I'm missing a gloss, but I don't know where it went, so never mind. This is the last lip gloss that I have, and this is by Doucet, I believe it's called. This is the Lush Lip Gloss. This is fun to wear, and it smells kind of fun. And it's this beautiful color right over here, so that I'm going to keep. And then we're done with lip, with, um, lip glosses. All right, lipsticks. Gosh, I don't know where to start on this either. I guess we'll just... This was go. All right, first up is a NYX San Paolo. This is a soft matte lip cream. I have not even used this. All I've done is take it out of the packaging. And that's that color. So that's really pretty, actually. I should try and use that. That's going to stay in my collection. This is my Urban Decay Liquid Metal. Or is this? Nope, this is just the Metallicized in Cruel with a little gold flex in it. I wore this all last fall. That stays because we're getting into the fall season. I've got two more Urban Decay lipsticks. I have Metallicized and Scorched. This goes with the Naked Heat collection. So that looks like, love that one. And then this is Heat. That's just what that looks like. I like this one, but it's very, very gritty on my lips and it almost kind of kinds of hurt kind of hurts so it's not my favorite to wear but I do absolutely love the color and I got sun today ouch I didn't think I did but I guess so okay now we're gonna do because I have a couple Ofra ones we're gonna do all of those if I can find them all is that it do I have any more no okay 
First up is the Ofra Liquid Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in Napa Valley. I have never worn this in public. I don't know if I ever would. It is a super deep purple. And I mean deep purple. But it's like metallic. It looks super, super pretty. I've never worn it. But I don't want to get rid of it because it is so pretty. Okay, we're just going to keep it. I'm just talking myself into it. This is the Ipsy Ofra one. It does not have a name on the bottom. This is what it looks like. Just very, you know, almost like a nude rose or like a mauve. Just very pretty. That I do wear a lot. So we're going to keep that one. This one also doesn't have a name. I got this in boxy term. I want to say... It was either Tucson or like Tuscan. Oh, it's this really pretty deep like Merlot red. This guy right here. Super pretty. I have not worn that very much so we're going to keep him. And then this one I just got and I love it. And this is the Verona. And I just wore this the other day. I will wear that in fall just because I absolutely love it. It's like a pinky, like a brown but it's like a pinky brown. I'm gonna keep that but that just made me decide that I'm not oh wait that's Anastasia sugar oh this one I am not keeping this one this is by Mello this is the matte liquid lip paint in Tehran and it's essentially the same color as a Verona it's a tiny tiny bit lighter but I like the formula of the Ofra more than I like the formula of that so that's actually gonna go just decided and this is my Anastasia lip gloss this is my vintage lip gloss I use this all the time I love this thing don't even know where I got it but it's like super super pretty I'm so keeping that one just used that the other day actually and I loved it um now what do I have I have a couple more NYX lipsticks I just want to get them all okay I've got four right nope five all right so this is one I haven't even opened and I'm not going to. This is the Abu Dhabi Soft Matte Lip Cream. Beautiful brown color that I will use. I just haven't yet. Then I have the... Oh, where are you? Lip Smacking Fun Color in Haute Couture. What's that color? It's kind of a, I don't know, purpley. No, more of a pink. More of a pretty pink. That I will keep because I would wear that. Um, next, I have another one of the Lip Smacking Fun Colors. This one is in Topaz. That's kind of what that looks like. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay one. Um, that's what that looks like. This guy right here. Super pretty. Woo! Keeping that one. And then I have two of the Turn It Ups. I have... Tool, tool, no, what do I have? I have Feline and Wine and Dine. And they're both kind of a very dark fall berry color. I don't have a lot of fall colors. Like that is like super dark. It reminds me of a Wet and Wild Black Orchid that I had for a while. Um, and then this one is another purpley one. It's essentially the same color. It's kind of more berry than anything else. I'm going to keep that. I don't think I have anything that's close to it either. So we're going to hang on to those. This is one that I got from Bath and Body Works. This is my Mentha Lip Tint in Plum Mint. Love this stuff. If you get the chance to get those, I don't even know if they have them anymore. Pick those up because those are super, super fun. Okay, next I have a bunch of these. How many am I up to now? These are my NYX Cosmic Metals. I have it in Fuchsia Fusion, which is super bright pink. I have two of these, which is the Speed of Light Beautiful Gold. I don't wear these all that often, so I may move these. This is Electromagnet. I wore that last year for Halloween, and I actually made a customer sick in my store. Um, and this one is Asteroid Aurora, which is just a really pretty pink. They are actually doing something really, really weird. Like, I absolutely love this color. 
just I love that color that beautiful purple it's so pretty I've got to try and use even more maybe just around the house then this one is crystallized metal it's kind of like a rose gold that right there so I am gonna keep these Mage, I may just end up moving them because I don't I don't wear them that often um, we're almost done you guys I have two Anastasia's this one is Seraphine liquid lipstick and an Ashton so a really deep red and a nice nude brown these suckers go on they're comfortable they don't move they don't dry my lip out they are really super super nice and I actually got them at TJ Maxx so super stoked about those um what do I have now I've got one more one tart this is the lipstick and lip gloss duo and VIP and just this really really pretty brown and then on this end is the gloss very nice I love that one I had another one but it was way too light for me so I gave it to my daughter because she can seem to pull off every anything and any everything um, oh, I lied. I have one more tart. This is the Island Life. Another really, really pretty brown. Red brown, which I don't have. I have a lot of, like, cool tone browns, but not so many red tones. And then I have some Bite Beauty. This is Chai, which is another ooh, really, really pretty brown, which I'm going to be keeping because I absolutely love Bite Beauty. This is a duo, this is in date, which is that color. And then this, I believe, is fig. Yep. Yeah. Another beautiful brown, as you can tell, that one is used and it broke. Um, so I don't use that one that often. This is a Bite Beauty lip crayon in what is it, Glace? I don't like that one that much. Um, it's a really super pretty color, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use that. And this is, what is this? This is Barberry. That is like super deep purple. I wonder if I have another color like this. Oh, it's really close to one of the other ones I have in there, but I like Bite Beauty more, so I'm going to keep it. I am gonna pass up on my little Ulta matte lip cream this is in striking I just don't like it I don't reach for it it's gonna go next up that I have is by real her this is in boss and I have used it I just haven't used it enough and I'm pretty sure it expired so I'm gonna get rid of that and let's see this I just got in boxycharm this is Han skincare cosmetics this is Raspberry Chardonnay. I don't even know if I've used this. Wow, is that nice? What is this? Doesn't say if it's a lip gloss or a lipstick. Hmm. I'm going to put that in the gloss section because I don't know. And then this is a Smashbox Moscow Mule. Oh, I don't even know. This liquid metal. Um, I don't like this at all. I mean, I love the color. I think it's super, super pretty, but it transfers so easily. It does not dry down. It feels really, really goopy and sticky on my lips. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of it. I've held on to it for far too long. This is another thing I think I'm going to get rid of. This is by Tarte. This is Flush. This is one of their Lip Surgeon's Power Pigments. Um, I don't like it, I don't think. No, I don't like the color. I don't like the smell at all. So that's going to go. And then I have three little lip liners. I have a Stila, a Jean Blue, and an Urban Decay 24-7. Those I'm all going to keep because I only have three of them. So they don't take up that much room. This I think I'm going to get rid of. This is that whipped one. I just have too many other colors. I'm just not going to keep it. And then these two... I don't have a true red in my collection, but neither one of these are like really red. If there was a really red one, it'd be that one. So I'm going to get rid of those too. So that is it 
That is everything. We did not empty a drawer, but we sure as heck, didn't want to swear there, <laughs> sure as heck cleaned them up and they're more manageable now. And I have some room to grow because I do, I do have some other stuff, I'm sure, coming in and boxy and ipsy. And probably I might find some new favorites. And some other stuff's going to stop being my favorite and we're going to get rid of it. So thanks for watching, you guys. Thumbs up down below. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see, like, more of, like, a look with or anything. Because I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't. would love to have you guys as part of my viewing family. I made to think of a nickname. That'll be in my next video. We're going to think of a nickname for everybody. And then make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload. I'm going to try and get on a more consistent schedule. Hopefully with work, I can do that. Um, and yeah, that's it, you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. So until the next video, bye!